Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a quick video tour of Microsoft's own Microsoft Office training. Now, as you know, Microsoft Office is used by almost everybody at some point in their career is going to run into a Microsoft Office product like Word, Excel, and so forth. Many people don't realize that Microsoft itself has provided incredibly good, comprehensive, and absolutely free training on Microsoft Office. So what I'd like to do with this brief tour is kind of give you the feel of Microsoft's Office training and show you some of the things that are available and how easy they are to use. So let's check it out. Okay, what we're looking at here is the, the home page for Microsoft's Office training. And as you can see, when you look down through this stuff, there's an enormous collection of training. Here we have training for the 2013 applications. And they're organized by years of uh, actually product releases. And here's Office 2010 training, Office 20, 2007 training, and Office for Mac 2011 training. So uh, each of those are very broad categories. Now what I've done is to pre-open the Word 2013 application area. And I'll just open that tab there. And this is what you see when you open that. And you can see that we've got this organized into beginner. And it says here it applies to Word 2013. So that's the version of Word that is supported by the training. So we get down here and we look and there's create your first Word document, custom margins, introduction to table of contents, etc. At the intermediate level, there are some courses listed. The advanced level. So what you're looking at here is course titles, as well as brief descriptions of the courses and what you'll get from it especially from a performance point of view. So take the first one, watch these videos to learn how to use 2013, get started to see how to do everyday tasks. Okay, I've clicked to download the Create Your First Word document, but look, level is beginning, length 15 to 20 minutes, 74 people taking it and they've rated it as out of those rating it, there's it's rated pretty highly. So we look down further and we can see that inside this course, you're gonna find chunks of information and training related to various components. So save and move on, add some formatting, insert some things and so forth. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the um, training that's associated with this course. And okay, so you can see here that we're on the first screen that comes up when you first download the PowerPoint presentation that goes with this training. I've been asked to enable editing, so I would do that. And the first time I did it, I enabled editing. That would allow the show to play. So I'm going to get down here. I'm going to go off my screen a little bit, off the, the screenshot. And I'm going to click play the slideshow. And you're going to see kind of what that looks like. When you first open Word 2013, this is what you see. You can open an existing file here, or choose a template and create a new document. Since we're just starting out, let's keep it simple and open the blank document template. Okay, let's say I don't want to look at that. And I'm going to go down here and click on one of these other ones. This little video is on headers. So can I start there? We've done a lot of work on this document using the commands and options on two tabs. The Home tab and Insert tab. But what about the others? Well, let's look at a few. Okay, so we paused this and as you can see, what we can do is jump into any one of these videos here. There's the summary. There's the one on headers. So lots of user control. As you go through this stuff, you don't have to go through things that you already know. And that's a good thing. Okay, so you get the idea. You have the, the opportunity to jump in at any point in the training, really control exactly how much time you spend on the training and exactly which topics you work on. So I'm going to go back to the website here. Whoops, that's my downloads page. And I'm going to take a look at the uh, training courses for SharePoint. Now, I got that over here, clicking on SharePoint from that first page. Remember, it's coming in here. I'm going to go down to SharePoint, click on that, and up come training courses for SharePoint. And what we have is, again, the opportunity to download and a quick reference card to go along with it. So let's check each of those out. Okay, now I've opened my Create and Manage a SharePoint blog PowerPoint presentation. And notice it says here, Protected View, so I have to enable editing, which I'm doing. That will enable me to actually play this presentation. Then I go down here and click on Slideshow. You create a blog just as you would any site. But in this case, 
you'll use the blog site template. So let's do it. Navigate to the site, such as a team site. Okay, so once again, we have the video automatically playing. It's allowing me to jump into, so here I'm clicking on permissions. Assuming you have set user permissions for your blog, it's a really good idea to set specific permissions on individual lists and libraries that are part of the blog. It makes... Okay, so as you see, the incredible opportunity you have as a learner to take control of your learning experience and and get it directly from the source from Microsoft itself. Now, another wonderful tool we have here, we're going to go back to that web page, the training courses for SharePoint here. I've downloaded the quick reference card as well, and I'm going to open that now that I've downloaded it, and this is what that looks like. It's a nicely formatted document, professional quality, and easy to scan and get the, the information you need. So as complex information is presented, this will enable you to recall that information after the training course is over. So builds a bridge directly to the workplace with these quick reference cards, particularly for the more complex applications. Okay, so summing up here, here's what we got. We've got well-designed courses, created by the course by the by the software publishers themselves Microsoft these courses include content modules that allow you to go at your own pace in nice little bites they're bite sized you can go straight to a particular topic or you can go systematically as they were designed from beginning to end through each course they also include a number of quick reference guides or job aids that enable you to transfer your learning immediately to the workplace and, and lay that job aid down beside your computer while you're using the tool and really ramp up your learning. Because you can download these, you can also have an entire class of people should you choose to learn this in a, in a group uh, training setting. So as you can see, we have this level of training for 2013 applications, for 2010 applications, 27 applications, you get way into the weeds on some of this stuff with the more esoteric programs such as Visio and you know, Communicator, OneNote, all these things that uh, are, are a little less often used and uh, get the training directly from the source. So Microsoft's own Office training is a great example of some of the best free training that you can find out there on the web. So enjoy.